new tool showed up for the uh, workroom. This is the Zytronic or XYTronic um, 468 ESD fume extractor. Let's see what's in here. It says uh, no lead on the front. It says uh, no, uh, no sparky thing. So maybe this is uh, lead free and uh, static free. Made in Taiwan. Oh God. Power cord. Big fan. That's what this is just uh, foam packing. Here we have instructions and a foam cartridge. Fan inside there. Let's see what it says. The introduction. Thank you for purchasing Fume Absorber 468. Uh, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Package content. Three replacement filters. Not three replacement filters here. Is there? Maybe they're skinny little things. Oh yeah, there is three of them in here. There's one. Okay, absorber, replacement filters, user manual. Blah, blah, blah. Installing and replacing filter. Remove plastic bag from filter. Okay. Place filter into opening. Through the slot in the top. So this thing seems like it's mostly made out of plastic bracket down here is metal, but the case itself is plastic. Mm, okay. Uh, change filter. Let's plug it in and see what it does. Standard power cord, standard receptacle switch, actually a fuse in there. The switch on. It's really uh, not too uh, not too noisy. I suppose you can gauge the uh, noise by the sound of my voice. Let's try moving it closer. Test, test, test. That's how noisy it is. I think I could live with that. Air flows out in the back, sucked in in the front. So now let's give it a shot. So let's test the uh, effectiveness. I've got the uh, Tape measure set up. I've got the soldering iron set up. It's running I'm right about in the middle. Certainly, right here in front of the thing, it's sucking all the smoke in about two inches away, about three inches away. It's getting most of the most of the fumes. Oops. Well, now I got solder in my ruler, but that's to be expected. Four inches away, we're still doing a pretty good job. Well, we're missing some now. Yeah, we're doing about 50% at four inches. Five inches almost completely ineffective. Seeing that the smoke is going that way, let me try bringing it down there. Mm. 
three inches, most of it's going in. Four inches is still most. Five inches, getting about half. Six inches, about nothing. So I move him down here since we know the smoke is going that away. And a good amount of it is bypassing the filter. So it looks to me like the effective range on this is about about four inches. Five inches, not good. Four inches, it's accomplishing something. Okay, so I like to uh, solder using the microscope here. Because my eyes are not so good anymore. So let's see what we can do to make this thing work with, uh, fit under our microscope. So first of all, I had to take it off the mounting stand. Because it was just too darn tall to scoot back there with it on the mounting stand. I've got the microscope set up so that I can see a circuit board. I just want to move that back a little bit. It's interfering just slightly. And I've got the zoom just about right, the focus just about right. About where I'd typically be working. And let's melt some solder and see what it does. So there's my point. Well, that's working good. Almost all of it. Well, you know, I'd say almost all of it is going into the 